Farid's physical ability is worthy of respect. Warm up and run slowly. The speed he reaches is 37.8 kilometers per hour. By way of comparison, Usain Bolt's record is 44.72 kilometers. But the best thing about these videos are the faces of the people around them. To measure the speed at which certain instruments are played, a composition called Flight of the Bumblebee from the opera by the Russian composer Rimsky-Korsakov is often used. For example, this composition is played by Taylor Sterling, who set a record in March 2012. The result is 999 BPM. Don't know what that means? Doesn't matter. Just, you know, just listen. Phenomenal. And now we advise you to lower the sound a bit, as the speed record when playing the keys on a piano is not music to our ears. <laughs> to be honest, the sound's more like a jackhammer working in the street in front of your house, but what a speed. Eight shots per second. This is not an episode of some old western in which they didn't particularly care about the realism of what was happening, but about the speed that Jerry McCulloch managed to achieve when it was his time to shoot. Today, Jerry is 53 years old and proudly considered a living legend and one of the fastest shooters of our time. And don't ask us how he manages to shoot at that speed. Desire is not enough to clap at a really high speed. A special ability is needed. The palms must move in parallel to each other so that each movement includes two claps. After several years of hard training, you can applaud in a similar way to Eli Bishop, who reaches a speed of 1,020 claps in a minute. Well, just watch this expert clap. Video games in which you press the buttons with your feet to dance to the rhythm of the computer are quite popular. Some people are pretty good at this, while others like Gene Reno's hero in Wasabi are clearly destined for something else. <laughs> the record for snapping fingers? Yes, it exists. Don't be surprised. It belongs to the Japanese student Satoyuki Fujimara. You won't hear every click on the video, and in the end, the guy clearly got a little tired, and the speed did slow down noticeably. Satoyuki seems to have run a marathon. Do you think there's nothing complicated about this? Well, you try it too. In the Guinness Book of Records, there are enough strange achievements, and in many cases, you wonder how someone could come up with something like that. For example, the speed record when it comes to unhooking bras through a shirt with one hand. By the way, the girl managed to unhook 32 bras, and the guy, 42. Well, a uh, good job? Three, two, one, go! Ready for a second pass. 20 seconds. He has to run all the way up the top. Go, 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 go! Four, three, two, one, and stop! Three, 
three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is excellent. Nowadays, many can boast of the ability to type quickly, as it is an indispensable skill in modern times. But it's one thing to respond quickly to your friend's messages on Messenger, and quite another to reach a really incredible speed while you're typing. Like Sean Rona, who can type 163 words in a minute. Never, ever argue with him on the internet. Some people find it boring to play alone, but not this guy. Look, for dribbling skillfully in basketball is also a kind of art. Especially when it reaches such speeds. Dutch amateur sportsman Leon Walraven can bounce the ball 609 times per minute, and although this technique won't do Can you jump over the rope without tripping over your legs, objects, or people around you? Do you think you're fast enough? Well, we've got to disappoint you. You're most likely far away from this Chinese athlete. 206 jumps in 30 seconds. And yes, the rope is really in the girl's hands, but even if you slow down the video, you can barely notice it. The title of the fastest violinist in the world belongs to the British Ben Lee, who managed to play the piece we've already mentioned, The Flight of the Bumblebee, with a unique speed. Ben plays 15 notes per second, and the total composition lasts 58.05 seconds. To be honest, it's so fast that in this strange hum, you can barely hear the original. For comparison, listen to David Garrett, the holder of the previous record, and you'll notice the difference. Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.